In this video, we're going to go over a couple of different vector operations that exist. So given a couple of vectors, here are certain things that we can do with them. The first one is known as vector addition. Now vector addition can represent a number of different things. For example, uh, force could be a vector quantity. And uh, if two people are pushing on an object at the same time, the overall force vector that you get would be the combination of those two things. So for example, let's say that um, we have one person that's pushing on an object in this direction. We'll call this one vector V. And we have another person pushing on an object in this direction with this much force, and we'll call that W. If you move the initial point of one of the vectors to the terminal point of the other vector, and recopy that same vector, and it doesn't matter which way we do it. Ultimately, we're going to wind up creating a little parallelogram here. The resultant vector that takes the initial point of the first vector to the terminal point of the second vector would be the sum of those two vectors. And this is referred to as the tail to tip method of adding two vectors together. Now, for an example of something like this, if we were talking about a displacement vector, suppose that I uh, go for a little drive and I decide to go three miles north of where I was, and then from the three miles north, I travel four miles to the east. So three miles north, and then four miles east. The vector that describes where I am in relation to where I was would be this vector right here. Now assuming that these were due north and due east, then that means I have been displaced a total of five miles from my home as is easily verifiable from uh, right triangle trigonometry. Now another one would be scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication is how you change the magnitude of a vector without changing the direction. So change the magnitude of a vector without changing its direction. You could think of this as being like, uh, go twice as far in a given direction, or push three times harder. So if we have a vector, the vector has a certain length associated with it, we'll call that vector v. If I were to create a vector that is twice as long as this vector, and points in the same direction, this vector would be represented by 2v. If I wanted to go three times longer, so one, two, three, pointing in this direction, this would be considered 3v. Now there is one situation under which you can change the direction of the vector, and that would be if you had multiplied by a negative number. This would be negative one times v. Now scalars can also be smaller than one, so if you wanted to create a vector that was half as long, you could say one half times a given vector. So should point in the same direction, just have a different length. 